All right, y'all, tonight we are going to do the hummingbird kit. Here's how they come, okay? Literally, just this just came off the UPS truck. Literally. All right, so let's cut it open together. In your kit, you will get one roll of beautiful mesh. You will get a package of 25 pipe cleaners. Two rolls of ribbon. Whoop, whoop. You will get two. Hummingbirds. You will get some purple and mauve ficus. And you will also get your rectangle boards and your measuring tape. For those of you that do not have a fancy setup like I do, measuring tape, all you have to do is take it out of the package. There's my Tina Kelly. And take a little scotch tape. I'm prepared, I promise y'all. And just tape it down to your table temporarily. So that you can measure your mesh. Okay, everybody with me so far? There's our tape measure to measure our mesh. Now, let me tell you my thoughts for this kit, okay? Is it? I didn't know. <gasps> oh, it is. That's cool. Okay, so. Here's my thoughts for the kit, so let me tell you what the original plan was, so you can see. The original plan was, is that you can make two swags, or one long swag, or, or, you can make a, um, you know, a garland. Okay, so you have three different options with this kit. Okay, but the two will give you plenty of options. I'm going to show you the original thought for the kit, which is how it was basically planned out. But I'm just going to show you one. Okay, first and foremost, we need to put some pipe cleaners on, and you just need eight of them. And you're going to, I like to fold them first and then stick them through my board, just easier. So fold your pipe cleaners up like this. And then if you just flip your board over. And so I don't get confused, I like to put my center one in first. That way I get my spacing correct right off the bat. Put my other ones in. Okay. 
and flip it over and then secure your pipe cleaners down. Like I said, you only need eight. Haven't gotten this kit. There's still a couple available. All right, we're going to set that aside. We are ready to cut our mesh. <laughs> this mesh is so pretty. It's like perfect for the hummingbird girl. Okay, so the nice thing, you don't have to go and hunt something to hold your mesh down while you cut it. It's game in the box. Take your other board, and we're going to cut our mesh 20 inches. We're just going to cut eight pieces. Doesn't have to be perfect, my friends. If you're going to do the double wreaths, you'll need 16 pieces. That mesh is so pretty, y'all. So pretty, so nice. It doesn't matter how you decide to do this. If you kind of do it like me, you know, you would only need um, 16 pieces of mesh total. Whether you chose to do two or... swag so that's why you only get one roll you only need one roll of mesh that's it i lost count y'all uh one more Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to ruffle on a real pretty base. I gotta sit down. Okay. So, this mesh does have a little bit of tendency to fray, so we are gonna give it a little tuck, and then ruffle, 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 ruffle. And tie it in. Okay. Now I like to tie my ends in first. Make sure that my mesh lays over the top. So pretty. This mesh was so perfect for the hummingbirds. It has the iridescence, like the hummingbird wings. Love it. Love it.
Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Thought you were gonna throw me out. I got the number on the mesh. It is. Look, Tina Kelly just smiled at me. I know it. Tina Kelly's over there going, I trained her well. Isn't that pretty, y'all? And Lori has this in other... Shades and colors. I have some in another shade and color. Now, in shop, if you get your wreath kit and want to add florals, Lori has a great selection of florals right now. So you can get some flowers to go with your kit. Okay, so there's our base. Fist my mesh. There, there. There's my base. Had, had to fist my mesh, okay? So now, here's the ribbon that comes in the kit. We got one that has got watercolor to it. Real pretty. And then this one is double sided. We chose this ribbon on purpose because it is double sided. So for those that don't like the plaid, you can do just a plain blue. It kind of gives you options with cutting the cost down. Y'all know what I mean? So you have options. If you want both of them to look different, you can do one with the plaid, one with the blue. Either way. Uh, the finished length on the base is da, 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 22 inches. But what we're going to do We're going to cut our ribbon 12 inches because that's all we really need. As soon as I find my measure buddy and quit losing my mind. There it is. Hello, my friend. Went to go grab it twice and I didn't. Measure buddy is also available at uniqueinthecreek.com.
and you just need eight pieces of ribbon. Set that to the side, and then we're going to cut eight pieces of our other ribbon. We're going to kind of do a half and half. We're going to be a little bit adventurous here. Kind of show you the full possibilities of... Sometimes when you go to the website, you'll see that the double-sided ribbon costs more, but... I want to show you the possibilities with the double-sided ribbon. All right. Now, believe it or not, if you layer your ribbons differently, they'll look different. So we're going to put the plaid on top on one set. And then our watercolor on the bottom. And the other set, we're going to put our watercolor on the top and the plain blue on the bottom. And then we're going to alternate them. Okay. So we cut these at 12 inches. Doesn't really matter which one we start with. Okay, and then the next one, It is. It is really amazing. That's one thing I love the rectangle boards. I love them, love them, love them. And my customers do too. So because my customer base loves them so much, that's what gave me this idea for the rest of y'all um, in having the ability to make two wreaths. You're already getting the two boards, so why not just put in another sign?
And I'll actually, myself, I'll end up selling this wreath for, just one of the wreaths for more of the cost of the kit. So I've already made a profit just on selling one wreath. Yeah, Lori today, y'all, you'll have to check that out. It'll be on YouTube. Lori made a St. Patrick's Day hat today using rectangle boards. Super nifty, man. She nailed it, y'all. It turned out really, really good. Y'all see how nice that looks, alternating the ribbons and... Because the hummingbird itself has pastels in it and some bright colors. So we wanted to bring those colors out. I think ficus is a great, great filler. I'm coming out with so many different colors in it this year. I'm super, super happy about that. All right. Now we got our ribbon on. So just to show you what we got so far, isn't that pretty, y'all? So we'll only need one of the purple... And one of the, I think this is more mauve, I guess. That's not, I don't know. I think so we need one of each of those. And y'all look. Look how much ribbon we still have left. Plenty. Plenty. Plenty, look. Plenty, y'all. Plenty of ribbon left. And we're not even really going to use that much ficus, y'all, because check this out. Okay. What we're going to do, we only need eight pieces. Anybody know where my wire cutters are at? They're there. So you may have ficus left over by the time you're done because we're just going to go one, two, three, I'm cutting these off. They come in three leaf sections. And that's how I'm cutting them off is in the three leaves. And we're going to do four of the pink. Like that. And then four of the... Now, obviously, if you want to do more, you'll have plenty to do more. Look how much of that's left over. I still have two more stems. Okay. But all you have to do, you don't even need hot glue for this because these are ultra super lightweight. Just come in here with your pipe cleaner.
and just tie the stem in like so. And what I did, because I'm not going to use the pipe cleaner anymore, y'all, I don't even bother cutting it off. I just tuck it to the center of the wreath. Like I said, you can add florals to this. Lori has a good selection of florals right now. Nice dainty ones, dainty little flowers that are perfect to go with the hummingbirds. By the way, if you don't have a pair of wire cutters when you're um, making this, the ficus will nip right off with a pair of scissors. Ta -da. All right, let's get our hummingbird on here. Now it has a hook on the back. So it just kind of depends on how you want your hummingbird to lay. I kind of want mine like this to take up more length of the board. You kind of got two options to put the, this on. So it's got this metal hanger in the back. We'll use that as our first option. And then I've got a metal hole punch. That's what I'll use to put on the bottom, but I'm gonna hang the top part first and get it situated. before I hole punch.
And I'll show you really quick. What I do with my pipe cleaners to keep my back really nice and clean is I just find another hole, tuck my pipe cleaner up through it. Like so. Gonna come up here to the yolk of the tail because it's pink. Oh my! And that's where I'm gonna put my other pipe cleaner because it won't be so noticeable there. So as of right now, we only used ten pipe cleaners, so you have fifteen left to do the next one. All right, and then to kind of finish things off a little bit, straighten our ribbon out real quick. We actually just need to put a simple bow on this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some ribbon tails, and we're going to cut them 16 inches. One out of each. Color. Yeah, the other hummingbird does hang the same way. So this is for those of you that don't have a bow maker. Here's the other hummingbird. And we're going to cut eighteen inches sixteen inches. I do recommend getting your little clips out.
Now you can put a big bow on this if you want to. But for those that don't have all the fancy tools like I do, this is a simple way just to make a really nice bow. Well, for a long time, because I did them like they call they call that the Jackie bow. So a lot of wreath makers know that as the Jackie bow. We're going to go up here at the corner and put one more at the top. And up at the top, I'm going to cut it, my tails 14 inches. I didn't cut it 14 inches. I was looking at the wrong measurement. That's okay. 10 inches will be long enough for up here. I don't want the ribbon to be too long because I don't want it to cover up my bird, so that's fine. Once again, we'll do 18 inches. Sixteen inches. Well, you know what, Lori? This was, you know, brand new idea. Doing the double kits. And just for the record, y'all, Unique in the Creek is the first one. The only wreath maker right now, the only company offering kits where you can make two wreaths with one kit. Just to let y'all know. Just a fun fact. Ta-da! I think I want to switch bows because that one's actually bigger than this one. The loops. I'm going to switch loops, y'all. I was looking at the wrong measurements on my table. It over there. That way it won't cover up the wing. There we go. 
That's better. That's better, my friends. Now we'll put this one down here because it's bigger. That's my oopsie for the night. Now, like I said, while you're there, because, you know, you're saving so much money getting two wreath kits in one, you can get some florals to go on this. The kits are just about sold out, y'all. Going back and we're gonna get ready for our close up Deville. I call it. And there you have it. That's what I had in mind. And then you to make the another one you would just do the same thing over again or different. And present these as doorbell door wreaths. So if you were going to present them as double door wreaths, you would do it the same. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make the other one different, and I'm going to load it up. That way I have two different price points for the hummingbird. The other one that I do will be loaded up, and it'll have a really big bow and stuff, so that gives two different price points. So this is actually a good craft show... You know, for those of you that do craft shows, you can make two different price points with this wreath. Well, that way you've got two different. For those that want a hummingbird, you can have a less expensive one and then a more expensive one. Tons of options, and we do have, Lori does, and we'll have more of these double kits. Not this one, but other double kits later on. So that was one of the big new things this year is the double kits. Like I said, Unique in the Creek is the only one that's offering it, y'all. Isn't this awesome? Loving it, y'all. Loving it. All right. Thank y'all so much for hanging out.